Hello my soccer universe, it is time to review all the jerseys for the German Bundesliga season 22-23 and for me this is uh, special in so far as I have 15 out of the 18 uh, Bundesliga teams in my collection which is the most for any league this season so I'm very very happy and even the uh, missing three are well within reach but there's a World Cup coming up that takes a little bit uh, of a center stage at this moment but I may complete the uh, 18 uh, dur during the season but let's see how it will go in any case um, I selected all the pictures that you will see in this video uh, online I made three screenshots my main source was of course footy headlines but uh, for some reason they don't have the Puma team so I got the, uh, the pictures from there and if I couldn't find a picture with just the jersey, but it uh, was on the mannequin, I went usually to the club store webpage or whatever, got the picture from there, and there's only one jersey so far that, and it will be the very last one in the fourth part, <laughs> that I have not yet um, uh, found a nice picture. So by the time uh, I edit it, it might actually uh, be that it's all nice. So uh, that's how I got the pictures. Um, how did I then uh, do the teams within the videos? Now, first off, we have here 18 teams, which means we have two videos. The first two where we have five teams each, and then we have two videos where we have only four teams each, which actually is quite nice in a way. Um, and then I take last season standings and I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and and it's on. And you know, for video one, I take all the teams with a one, video two, all the teams with uh, num number two, and so on. And so, in this video, we have Bayern, we have Mainz, we have Hoffenheim, we have Hertha and we have Schalke. And that's the team that I'm wearing because I have a fear that this might be uh, for, uh, again, two years the last time that I'll be wearing Schalke, although I really hope that it will stay in the league because they are a massive club that belongs in the Bundesliga. But that's a side here. And then... I sort them alphabetically and this is how we start actually with the defending champions of Bayern München as they are called in Germany and we see here the Bayern home jersey has a very interesting pattern uh, you've seen maybe in the intro that I'm wearing a hooped jersey the uh, red and white hoops now they take this pattern uh, to, to the next level but it's what bugs me with that one, it is rather random. There's no rhyme or reason uh, why some of the stripes are thinner, why some of the stripes are thicker. That makes it a little bit odd looking to me. On the other side, I gotta say it's an interesting uh, shirt and over on over the color combination uh, red with white is actually what I like to see with Bayern. So I'm a little bit split, but I have to have to say the pattern overall is, not, is, is putting it down to me. It is not more than an average uh, Bayern jersey for me. Uh, the away jersey takes a page out of Real Madrid's book and Milan also had in a very bad period for Milan. They had, had such a jersey, having white with just gold. Honestly, I do prefer the one that I have up there, uh, which is also not traditionally uh, Bayern, but uh, I think it looks a little bit better because it has some connection to, to tradition. I understand. I mean, they have won 10 titles in a row. So the gold has some validity here. The one thing is, I th honestly think, while it is not bad to have a white and gold jersey, I do really think that this might look a tad better if the crest would be full colored. I know it might not be as unified, but I have a feeling I, I, I personally would like it better. So it is just a nice, you know, it's a white jersey with golden egg, egg, accents, which we have seen very often. And to be honest, the only team that can credibly pull that look off is Real Madrid, not Bayern Munich. I gotta say. So again, it's very average, but you know, it's a six star out there. I do know that they are also planning to release a white jersey for the... Uh, uh, Olympic Games because it was 50 years ago but uh, so far I have not seen that one however what we have seen is a third jersey which is kind of uh, black with the red accents uh, which makes it immediately more looking like Bayern however compared to the last two black jerseys that Bayern had we had the black and the gold one which I really really like because they were references to the city in there well they are references to Bavarian um, culture in there that I do enjoy um, and the previous one with the lozenge pattern so there have been uh, in my opinion better jerseys however the one thing is that there is um, this is 
the, the symbols within the pattern are based on the card game Schafskopf, we call it Schnapsen in, uh, uh, in Austria, which is more, it's you know, it is a different way of playing with traditional cards. They look different. They have slightly different symbols, and those symbols are in there. Um, I, I think the color is also a little bit more brownish than blackish. So, you know, I think it's a nice jersey. It might actually be the best out of that bunch of the regularly released jerseys, but I still um, I wouldn't go higher than six stars. Since we are, I'm recording this in October, we also have seen already the Oktoberfest jersey, um, which puts a new twist on it. Again, we have the gold pennant in there. We have the darker red in, uh, we have a darker red now. I have to say this looks almost better than the one they have released last season where they played in green. Well, while a little bit more traditional uh, Bavarian, I actually like it uh, in the dark red a tad better. Also with the golden axis. Overall, when I saw when I saw Bayern playing this one, it actually didn't look out of place. Also in interesting was the treatment of the sponsor, where there's just the T with the two logo uh, with the two dots, which is kind of the new um, uh, T-Mobile logo, which we have to get used to. I do like the symmetry, but uh, it's almost a little bit too much. I mean, it will take some getting used uh, to that one. I also think uh, for a specialty jersey, this is the best jersey for that Bayern have released this season. Uh, it's not the greatest jersey, but I actually want to go uh, with a seven star for this one. And it was actually worn in a, in a game that they won big. So, you know, um, more power to them. Moving from the one Olympic city uh, in Germany, Munich, to the other one, uh, although I think that city probably at this point wants to rather forget about that they had the Olympics, although it's probably the most famous Olympics of all time in a certain way. We go, of course, to Hertha Berlin, who also play in the Olympiastadion, which Bayern do not any, any, anymore. Um, and I have already said in the Premier League review that I really dislike the template that Nike is using. However, for Hertha, it actually looks uh, quite nice because they go with the whole, you know, yes, you have the white shoulders uh, and I would like striped shoulders a little bit uh, better. But overall, uh, this does make some sort of sense. Uh, I think Brighton had a similar um, look. Uh, I do like the striping. I see there is some sort of pattern in there that I honestly cannot discern uh, what it is. My So that is all uh, nice. Uh, we can discuss whether the black uh, cuffs and collar are needed. But I think it's all right. The only thing is, of course, the sponsor, the sponsor, the sponsor, the sponsor. Not badly applied. Uh, it is not in the box, so that's a plus. But the orange is just a little tad too much for my liking. And so a uh, jersey that I would have gone probably eight, I have to go down to seven because the orange really bugs me. But I have to say, overall, I think this uh, Hertha jersey is uh, quite nice. The away jersey actually doesn't do anything offense, and I think this is probably of that particular template one of the more in interesting ones because it's uh, tone and tone. We have the dark blue, we have the light blue, and we have it on the shoulders. Um, if it wasn't for the curve, but like of a straight a yoke, I actually would probably like this quite some. I don't dislike this jersey. Let's let, let's be frank. I also think that maybe extending it to the sleeves could have made it even more interesting. But, you know, that's something that um, I leave to some uh, people that are a, bit, a little bit better in uh, adjusting jerseys. That is one that I think could work, but it may not. Overall, um, I like the colors. I like the combination of colors. Here, the sponsor also looks overall all right. So in that sense, I cannot really fault it for what it is. Um, but it's still not more than your average jer uh, jersey. And I'm going with a six here. A uh, very interesting jersey is, of course, the uh, Wade jersey. Uh, oh, the third jer uh, jer jersey, which uh, goes back to the away jersey worn at the same season that this Hertha jersey up there was released, which was, I think, the 97-98 season. That's the first time they came back, which, of course, had this famous uh, Adidas template uh, from uh, from the 90s, from 96 we know with the three stripes now uh, Nike cannot really do it so you see only two stripes but you can definitely see the reference it also leaves a little bit more space you see the Austral Hertha uh, logo which uh, you also find on this jersey there where the, the flag is in the crest 
Um, as a reference, I think it does a really good job. And for uh, just a templature, just getting this custom graphic on, on, on there, I gotta give uh, Hertha a lot of credit that they could do it. Now, uh, does it look great? That's not a big question. And I think it. this is one of those cases, we will have a few retro jerseys uh, coming. Well, it just falls a little bit flat, but I do like the idea. Also, despite Union being red, I actually like red for Hertha because, you know, it's the city's color as well. But overall, there's something a little bit too odd about this one. And I'm going to go uh, just five stars here, going in the way the other way from uh, Bayern. Now, going to Hoffenheim, uh, Homa. I think it's the only Homa team in there. We have many Nike teams and then it's rather uh, here and there a few other suppliers but we have quite a few suppliers there um i actually like this one they went back to a more uh, regular blue with white it does a better job than what the bayern jersey although uh, it is very reminiscent of the bayern jer uh, jersey but you know the wavy lines make it look a little bit more in the interest there are some waves in there now the one thing is what does this have to do with hoffman okay but you know for a nice pattern I honestly think I like it. It looks like the hills that are probably around there. I do like this jersey. Uh, and even the sponsor fits nicely in, so I uh, really can afford it. I'm gonna go with a seven here. Uh, not such a fan of the away jersey. It reminds me a little bit about the, of the uh, Lotto jerseys for the 2006 World Cup, where you know where the thorns were coming in. Now it's only diagonally. Um, again, the goldenish color, yeah, yeah, I mean, I know they're trying to do something different, but uh, to me it just doesn't hit well. So I'm gonna go uh, with a five here, and then, all right, this one looks all, all, all right, but quite average, a third jersey, uh, black with light blue, um, yeah. let's go with a six. So all teams so, so, so far that we have reviewed have a, a five, a six, and a seven. Great, let's see if we can keep this up. Uh, Mainz, um, a little bit of a letdown from last season. Uh, similar to the jersey that I have up, up there because they still keep the pattern that Kappa has introduced for, for them, but they don't go with the almost Croatia-like checkerboard pattern. It's just not a plain red jersey uh, with the pattern uh, like the body of this shirt. It looks more uh, traditional in, in a sense. I think that the sponsor is a big improvement over what we have up there. Um, so that has to be said. We also have the gold, which actually means makes a little bit sense because Mainz is the golden city. But given how uh, we were used to kind of the crazy jersey, I said it's a tad of of a letdown. But I don't dislike the more traditional look either. Again, for me, it's a rather average uh, six star here. Um, the away jersey does the same thing, but for me here the sponsor is a little bit too colorful and that doesn't work for me like at all. Uh, we're going straight into the three pin here. So we have another, we have finally a grade that is not uh, a five or six or a seven. Um, yeah, uh, if that sponsor was red, we it, I would probably give the same, same grade. Um, I have to say the third jersey is really nice and i think in addition there's kind of a city map pattern in there as well which elevates it and uh plus points for the full colored crest uh which also adds a little bit spice to this one i really like this one i'm gonna go uh, actually for an eight with this uh we have actually overall quite good looks uh in this video and we end this video with the team that I'm wearing, which is, is of course Schalke, who are back after a couple of seasons with Umbro. They're back with Adidas, which kind of seems right. I, I don't... Well, everything about this looks quite Schalke. What I really, really don't like, and I've seen Adidas do this for a few teams, this template, these weird white patches under the arms, does not make any sense to me. If it wasn't for those, I think it would be your classic run-of-the-mill Schalke, Schalke shirt. But uh, despite, you see the sleeve sponsor, really nice. I actually like even the main sponsor and we don't have the uh, Russian company any anymore, which is a big one uh, for because they pumped a lot of money to Schalke, but then Schalke undid them themselves. It would be a classic Adidas look. If this was all blue, 
nothing really to uh, get crazy about, but I think it would look very much a Schalke. But it's also, this look is also in a way a little bit Schalke. And I realize I have a white thing, but there's at least a white across. Uh, where to go with them? I have to say this is a four uh, for me. Uh, it just does, doesn't do it. Um, the wager is a little bit more interesting. It has a very much an American football look to, to me with the blue patch, but I actually think I do like it a little bit better. Is it a great jersey? Nah, it's also all, almost not. So uh, despite me liking Shark a lot, it's only a five, I gotta say. And then the third jersey is a color that they have been using, but actually, you know, reverse the colors, you know, make the color white and the body blue, this would be a better Schalke home jersey. So yeah, I actually do like this. Uh, ov overall, it makes sense for Schalke to have this as a third color. Uh, but but again, it's, it's rather average. Um, <clears throat> I'm also gonna give this a five, sorry for Schalke. So yeah. That was it for part number one. Uh, please let me know which jerseys you liked in this video. We agree and disagree with my ratings. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.